Well, what do you know? Another highly requested spoof movie. It must be awesome. Meet the Blacks is a spoof movie on The Purge. It's directed by Dion Taylor. It stars Mike Epps and Zule Haneo. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. And basically it's about a guy who moves his family from Chicago to Beverly Hills in hopes that The Purge won't affect them that much there because they're higher quality people, supposedly. And little does he know, it doesn't really help because now this white neighborhood wants the black people out of their neighborhood. And so The Purge is, you know, all these people going after him. So just like the movie Fifty Shades of Black, that made fun of Fifty Shades of Grey. This movie also stars the main characters where their last name is Black and they're Black. I think they're running out of ideas here. Ooh, Black people with the last name Black, that's hilarious. Not really. It's not that clever, it's been done, whatever. Also similar to that movie, this movie's just not very funny. A lot of the jokes end up resorting to poop and fart humor. There's a lot of scenes in this movie where somebody dies or they're standing there with a gun and they just fart. And they kind of like leave it kind of awkward for a second, hoping that you'll laugh and nobody laughs. And it's just like, oh, God, this is kind of pathetic. But there are some pros to this movie. It is better than some of the other spoof movies that have come out, at least out of the ones I've seen. The acting in this movie, it feels like they're actually trying. It seems like they're passionate about the movie that they're making, which is good. It doesn't feel like they're just raking in a paycheck, especially Zule. Again, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but she's the mother character, and she actually feels like she's trying to act. She actually portrays a character who's trying to relate to her kids and um, her husband and all this stuff, and actually feels like she's a real person, not just a caricature, whereas the other characters in this movie tend to kind of just be the stereotypical characters. Now, one thing that I thought was pretty clever in this movie is a kind of a running gag they had going throughout it where there were some black people making fun of even darker black people almost being racist against them, and I thought that was kind of funny. And this movie had a great premise. I saw the trailer, I thought it looked pretty interesting. The Purge would be a great movie to kind of make a movie and making fun of it, you know. But the thing is, the they just were they were afraid to take risks, you know. All the movies or all the jokes, sorry, are so predictable. And it's just like you see every joke coming and you're just like, eh. Now granted there were some times I laughed in this movie. They did have some funny jokes. But I'd say it was like 75-25 with how much I was not laughing versus how much I was laughing. There was a lot of not laughing in this movie, and that's a problem because it's a comedy. There are some great cameos in this movie. Uh, one in particular I thought was pretty great, but I won't spoil it for you. And honestly, I think these spoof movies are just getting lower and lower budgets because they're not making any money at the theaters. And it really shows with this movie. There's like, they're trying to show you that the purge is going on outdoors, and it just sounds like some sound bite they found on YouTube. It's like some random chainsaws and people going, ah. Now, maybe that was supposed to be a joke in the movie, but it didn't come across very funny. It just came across as low budget. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that one day they can get these spoof movies back to the level of space balls and even the first scary movie, you know. Back when these spoof movies were great and they were well written and they were taking risks with, like, you know, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. You know when you've seen a good spoof movie, and you know they've been going downhill, and this one doesn't help at all. In the end, guys, I went into this movie hoping I'd have a good laugh, and I didn't, so I just left with blue balls. <laughs> this movie did not live up to any sort of potential that it may have had. So guys, what's the last really great spoof movie you saw? Let me know and comment below. If you're new to my channel, please remember to subscribe and like the video, and stay tuned after this to watch some more movie reviews if you can handle it. Go!